Tax exemption is when the state or relevant authorities agree to forgo part or a company's entire tax obligation. Usually, the granting of tax exemptions has been used as a bait to lure companies to invest into some specific sectors. Data available shows that between 2010 and 2018, the total amount of tax exemptions granted by the Ghanaian government was in excess of 4.6 billion Ghana cities. This high tax exemptions rate has been identified as one of the contributing factors to the poor domestic revenue collection. Last year, as part of moves to streamline the tax exemptions regime, a bill was taken to parliament. But after nearly a year without it being passed, Abeku Jan Kwansa, a partner at PwC and also a tax expert, is questioning the agency in getting the tax exemption bill passed. I go back to what I said initially around the president himself identifying exemptions as one of his headaches. I refer specifically to his speech during the State of the Nations address last year. Parliament requested for the public to give a response in March, April last year. And we are still here having this conversation in February 2020. So probably the tax to daily graphic or graphic business and probably Stambik with this huge platform is to please ask Parliament. It's either the exemptions bill is passed or withdrawn. So that as a people we are clear in our mind whether indeed we want to deal with this issue. Because as I said, the deadline that was recorded in the Article 4 consultation report in 2018 was June 2018. So if we're still having conversations around exemption around this time, I just do not get it. But see, the issue that we need to take note of is that invested need security for their investment. So if I'm coming to put my money in upstream oil and gas exploration, and I'm not too sure of the movement in your fiscal regimes over the next 30 or 25 years, I would definitely seek certain concessions, which is why all these concessions come up. Mr. Jankwanza adds that beyond taking an action on the tax bill, the country needs to decide whether it will use tax exemptions to lure investment or not. But at the end of the day, we are a sovereign country. We can choose not to give exemptions and just test it out and see whether or not we can still attract a lot more of these FDIs. Because based on the literature I've reviewed, it's still inconclusive as to whether or not tax exemptions really bring in stuff. But we as a people can actually explore to say going into the future, we'll give no tax exemption and see whether or not, and mind you, these exemptions even include the treaties that we sign on a day-to-day basis, and then test it and see whether or not we can still generate the employment we want to generate and get the FDIs that we want to get in.